hello and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you're welcome i am an aim potion i'm an author and i also do business now today's video is basically for that part of my channel where we talk about business and i'm going to be sharing with you why Burkina Faso is a great place for entrepreneurs and investors and then i'm going to share with you all well some of the business opportunities and investment opportunities that you can find in Burkina Faso and then I'm going to come back with a second video to give you a detailed version of all those business opportunities okay so before I get into the video if you have not yet subscribed please do click the subscribe button and the notification bell that lets you know when I've uploaded a video okay now for those of you who are subscribed and watch my content regularly thank you so much for subscribing and also for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up because it will get YouTube to recommend it to other people who may also be interested in my kind of content and also if you have friends family members colleagues who you think would benefit from my content especially well any part of my content really and um, share it with them i'll be more than grateful for that thank you so much for those of you who share thank you for those of you who comment you know make comments on my videos thank you so much now um now let me get into the video Okay, today is Monday. I hope you've had a great weekend. Um, I don't necessarily always put out content on weekends because sometimes by the weekend I'm so, so tired. So yeah. Um, but normally I put out three videos anyway a day. So you should be able to have enough content for the weekend as well on those weekends that I don't upload anything. So I've got my tablet here because it's got my notes on there. Okay, so Burkina Faso has many business opportunities and hence it's an excellent place to invest for to invest in for entrepreneurs and investors. Okay. And um, there are many sectors in which you can invest in within Burkina Faso. And for example, tourism, agriculture, construction, education, real estate, and manufacturing. Okay, now they now I'm going to share with you the business opportunities. Okay, so number one business opportunity is a cyber cafe, number two is poultry farming, number three is hair and barber shop. Number four is fast food restaurant. Number five is selling groceries. Number six is selling secondhand clothes. Number seven is sewing clothes. Number eight is daycare services. Number, number nine is laundry services. Number 10 is transport business. Number 11 is agribusiness. Number 11 is mobile repair business okay so those are some of the um those are some of the business that you can invest in within Burkina Faso okay um Okay, since this since it's quite short, I'm just going to give you the details of them on this same video, okay? Instead of coming back with a second video, there's no need for it. Um, number one, Cyber Cafe. It, you can start a Cyber Cafe in Burkina Faso to provide access to internet and information. The demand for internet and information has been on the increase with so many people studying online. You can offer other complementary services like printing and photocopying. Make sure you set up your business near institutions like banking hall and institutions like colleges. Small smartphones have reduced 
the demand for cyber cafes in Burkina Faso. With this in mind, you can offer additional services such as printing, photocopying, laminating, typing, binding, scanning, and graphic design. So oftentimes people who who add those additional services actually make more money than people who, who just um, have the internet cafe because a lot of pe students and even business owners who may not necessarily have like things like um, laminator, photocopier, a binding and all of that kind of stuff um, would normally go to cafes that offer these kind of services. Okay, so it will be good if you can add these services to your business. Okay, number two is poultry farming. Um, poultry farming is a profitable business with a high demand for its products. It does not require a huge capital startup since you can start with only a few birds. So you don't necessarily have to have a lot of money to start poultry farming because you only need like about 10 birds, 10, 15 birds, and then you grow from there, you progress from there. Okay. Um, some of the birds that you can rare include chicken and ostrich. Doctors discourage people from eating red meat. Instead, take white meat from birds and fish. Meat and eggs from birds are nutritious and do not contain cholesterol. As such, if you can rare birds in large scale, you are sure to get orders from restaurants. Okay, he's gone back to sleep. <laughs> number f number three is hair and barber shop. You can start a barber shop and salon shop if you have the skills. Luckily, the two businesses are intertwined, and you can venture into both. It is fun and gives you a chance to interact with your customers. Luckily, this is a business idea that will never lack customers even during challenging economy times. Hair will always keep on growing and people want to stop, stay smart and decent. You need some skills which you can learn in a few weeks. So if you don't know how to cut hair or to braid hair or to color people's hair or maybe to perm you um you need to go some like go to a college or to a salon that teach offers apprenticeship and learn how to do it and then you venture into opening a barber shop that also caters to um hairdressers as well okay a barber shop and a hairdresser in one yeah um fast food restaurant Okay, is the other one. Starting a restaurant in Burkina Faso is an excellent idea, especially in towns and places with a high influx of people. The hospitality industry is growing with the increased number of people in cities. You can start with a small hotel selling fast food like snacks and fries and expand as your customer base grows. If you can prepare delicacies, you are sure to get orders from people working in offices. So don't just sell like, you know, um, international food, but also aim to um, sell um, food that is local to the Burkina Faso people so that you get more customers that way, okay? Um, selling groceries is another one. Selling groceries is a profitable business when you get a good location. Make sure you stock your shop with fresh greens and fruits. The startup capital is considerably small and it is a business idea you can start. To attract more customers, you can provide your customers with extra services like chopping vegetables, which is actually really, really good because um, some people you know, the the easier you make it for them, the better. Some people prefer like having easy life, um, having the vegetables already chopped and cleaned for them and ready packaged so that when they get home, they just cook it or when they get to the restaurant, if they're buying it for their restaurant, they can just cook, prepare it. They don't have to go through the hustle of um, 
washing the vegetables and chopping again and all of that kind of work that goes into um, meal preps okay um, number okay one two three four five six number six is selling second-hand clothes okay second-hand clothes are always on demand since they are cheaper and durable compared to new clothes it is a business you can start with little capital all you need to do is to locate an area with a, a massive influx of people like markets okay to succeed in this business understand the kind of clothes your customers like and stock them with time you will have an influx of customers and you'll be in a position to make significant profits so make sure you know the cost the kind of clothes that customers want you know people are always looking for things like tops people are looking for things like trousers especially like jeans um latest jeans and all of that kind of clothes and clothes that have not been worn for a very very long time it's still neat it's still clean it's still smart and um, people also like thick clothes like um suits um skirt suits dress suits and all of those kind of clothes okay second hand clothes okay so yeah N number okay the other one is sewing clothes sewing business remains among the most profitable businesses that will never lack customers clothes are a basic need and such when they get torn and people need to have them sewn you only need to make a brand new a brand by providing excellent service sewing services you will get customers with customer referrals and at some point you might need to employ a person to help you some of the potential clients are boarding schools to sew their school uniforms okay so you can offer your service to the local community as well as to boarding school students because you know they'll need somewhere to go and have their clothes sewn for them okay when like their uniform needs repairing and all of that yeah um the other one is daycare service daycare business is a lucrative business idea since most working people are always looking for people to live their children with if you're if you love taking care of kid children and you know how to feed them and change their diapers it is worth starting all you need to do is set up a good playing field and toys for children creativity is such is essential to excel in this business if children love your center parents will be free to leave their children under your care okay so if i was in if i was in booking office so this is the one that i'll go for the daycare center um daycare service okay now with daycare service you need to make sure that you meet the regulation of your country booking office so okay in this case and also make sure you have enough toys for them you have enough um room for them to be in and also to be outside outside play area which is safe okay um guarded like from gated basically so that outsiders can't easily come in to the building okay and all of that and also have members of staff who are enough to look after the children with you as well okay so have all of those things in place yeah and um and the other one is laundry services laundry business is another excellent business idea you can start with little capital you can opt to start a laundry shop or operate a home-based laundry business for home-based laundry business you will be visiting clients in their homes to clean and iron their clothes the best way is to leave your clients with your contact so that they can call you whenever they need your services okay so you can either open a laundrette where people come to you and leave their clothes and you wash them wash it and iron it for them or you can do the home service where you go into their homes and do that like cleaning for them for me i prefer to be on the safer side i prefer like people coming to a laundry rather than me going into people's homes but you know you have to gauge who you're going to um to serve like 
in terms of offering laundry services yeah um transport business transport business in Burkina Faso is large and you can venture into it with many people working in towns you can operate vehicles that ferry them from one point to another it is a business you are sure to make enough money by the end of the day make sure to employ an honest driver and conductor otherwise you can be losing a lot of money to dishonest employees so it's important that you hire honest drivers and conductors okay because they're the people who will be handling your money yeah um the other one is agri business agricultural business okay now if you're not following my page um a h p food store on instagram please go and follow that for everything agricultural agricultural because i do um what's it called i do grow my own food indoors yeah and my seasoning herbs and vegetables and eventually when i get an outdoor garden i'll be able to add fruits as well okay and more vegetables of course yeah so it's on facebook and also on instagram so go check it out um again if i was in Burkina Faso, this is the business that i'll go into just because i love it i enjoy doing it um agribusiness remains one of the most profitable businesses in Burkina Faso. Agriculture is the backbone of many African countries. Okay, so if you have not watched my video called Wealth Transfer, go and watch it. It's a two part video where I talk about the wealth transfer, how God literally is going to transfer wealth to African nations, okay, to people in African nations. Um, and that includes through agriculture. Okay, so if you have land, if you're in Burkina Faso and you have land, or even if you're not in Burkina Faso, any African country and you have land, that is one of the ways that wealth transfer is going to come about in Africa and people are already experiencing it. And if you're not even in Africa, you're in the UK like I am, You, if you have allotment next to you or you have a big enough garden that you can convert half of it into a productive garden that allows you to grow your own food or your own vegetables um sorry your own fruits you can do that okay because that's another way that people in and the uk are going to be like survive basically living yeah um because we know like what is happening like with the food industry they're messing up the food industry yeah like putting more chemicals in food than actual proper food so if you can grow most of your own food you're better off that way okay so um you can grow crops on a small scale and large scale for substance and commercial use respectively so you can use this um, what's it called? Okay, the government of Burkina Faso has introduced incentives to promote agriculture to boost food security. As such, you can take advantage of and invest in agribusiness. So even the government of Burkina Faso is supporting agriculture. So you can take advantage of the, those policies within within um, Burkina Faso and invest in agri agricultural business. And um, you can sell your product. You can sell the food that you have grown to other people, like other shops, you know, local groceries and all of that. And if you can import it even, you can import it within African countries and also outside of African countries. Okay. Um, the last one is mobile repair business mobile repa mobile phones have become an essential part of humankind it is a business idea you need to consider investing in you can take a course in mobile phone repair that will last for a month luckily it does not need huge capital investment so you don't need a lot of money to invest in this business okay um you can start by getting employed to repair cell phones and you can gain experience with skills and enough experience you can start your own business okay so once you have enough experience and skills you can actually start your own business in the mobile repair sector 
okay that is it if you have any questions to do with business in general and um, it doesn't necessarily have to be with um based on the business opportunities that i've shared in this video it can be business in general whether you're in the uk or outside of the uk you can also ask your question in the comment section or if it's too personal for the comment section feel free to send me a dm on my facebook or my instagram or my twitter all my social media platforms are in the about section of my channel um so yeah you can drop me a dm there and if you have found this video beneficial to you give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section what you know what you took away from this video that is it guys i shall see you in the next video bye